I just received an email from a subscriber. He recommended to look at H&M. The stock is really good valued. So I did that. I went to openmart.com, went to the stock's website, and I looked at the ranks. The value rank of H&M is actually 71, which is really good. But they have a bad growth rank of just around the 30s. So I decided, let's have a look at the competition. And I went to the page of Sara on openmart.com, looked at their ranking, and it's exactly the opposite. Quite surprising, very similar competitors. Sara has a very low value rank and a very high growth rank. And H&M is the opposite, very high value rank and very low growth rank. Now, this is natural. This actually happens often. Because if, if you can expect more growth in the future, you're ready to pay a higher price. If you can expect, expect less growth in the future, you're only paying a lower price. So I was wondering, is this lower value of H&M justified? Can they really expect less growth in the future? And I googled that. It's actually quite easy. You just go to Olmart.com on the stocks page and you can press the news button. And then you get a Google search result with all the news. And of course what I saw right at the first entry on that search result was a guy saying, you know, I don't believe in H&M anymore. And I went to that page, looked at that, and the guy actually bought H&M a couple of years ago and was really disappointed because the stock lost in value. And I, I read through his arguments, and the first argument was, oh, they didn't get their online strategy right. And then I said, okay, they didn't get their online strategy right. The second point was, they didn't get their store strategy right. And I was like, Wait a minute, that's, that's the same thing. You know, if you don't get your online strategy right, you're probably your store strategy is wrong too. The mix of online and retail is probably wrong. And then the third point was, and they're really slow to adapt. <laughs> so what this guy is actually saying, he's saying, I think they should have done more online and that's it. No other reason. Now when I buy stocks for the long term, and it happens that a certain stock had the wrong distribution strategy for the past two or three years. I can expect that they will change this strategy again. So there's no reason to believe that in the future H&M will stick with a stupid strategy and Sara will stick with a good one. As a matter of fact, they're probably going to, you know, approach each other and be very similar. That's actually a very good reason to buy the cheaper stock, H&M, with a high value rank because you can get now a really big company at a really low price. And you can expect that in the future, the management will adopt their strategy and their growth will adjust too. That was my decision. I wish you good luck with your decision.